What's up? Uh, it's been a while since we've done it. No, I'm not doing that joke again. It's been a minute. I don't know if there's a song for that one. Anyway, uh, wanted to sit down and just throw some ideas your way in terms of uh, how we make money during uh, this pandemic, right? So uh, as you guys know, productions, a lot of productions have been shut down. Um, we've been doing some work. Um, there's a couple things we've done. One, we got COVID certified, meaning we went through and did a safe set certification, uh, which sounds a lot like safe sex. Either way. Um, and so we got certified so we, we can kind of give that to our clients and give them some confidence and reassurance that uh, it's not that we just know what we're doing, but we're, we're going to go about it safely. So that's one thing. The other thing that we've done is we've jumped in and figured out ways to monetize certain pieces of content we have to help clients or rather not just monetize, but how to help them reuse their footage to monetize it for us, right? So what that's a long convoluted way of saying is like we take previously shot footage, repurpose it into new commercials and sell it back to them or help them if they're doing that. Or uh, the agency that we may have worked with, we go back to the agency and say, hey, look, we were thinking about it. We could pitch this. Would you be interested? And so we've done that a couple of times uh, with uh, a variety of different pieces. Uh, one was for our friends at Acoustical Fulfillment, who we also did a complete remote one, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But the big one being is we did a, um, we did one of those commercials we did last year was like for this bank called Trustmark, and they had a whole new spot that they needed to run, yeah. and we uh, we sat down and worked with them. So the agency cut a new VO. They got in touch with us. We used footage from a variety of different cameras. We used footage from BTS. We used footage from us just kind of film, like literally we had a BTS unit just filming pickup shots. We used outtakes. We used pieces that we never used. Uh, there's a whole sequence in here in which another actor um, crossed the camera and we were able to, to, in earlier takes, follow them. And so it was a mistake it, while we were shooting because that's not who we were supposed to film. But at the end of the day, whatever we went with it and we were able to create another product so i'm going to show you that spot um and let you kind of see it actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the first commercial so this is the original and then this is the remake that they used to kind of say reopening i think it's a pretty clever way of us approaching it just an idea maybe spark some uh, thought will it go big time or local only it could stay a corner store expand or become multiple locations. Wholesale might be in the future. One day, maybe even franchising. No matter how ambitious your plans may be, we're here to help you leave your mark with business accounts, loans, services, and advice to help grow your dream. Visit trustmark.com business to learn more. A way forward. During unprecedented times, it's what we're all looking for. And with the personalized help of a Trustmark Relationship Manager, it's something we can figure out together. From accounts and loans to services and advice, no matter what challenges your business may be facing, we'll be here to help you stand strong and keep it moving forward. Learn more at trustmark.com business. All right, so there you go. So you have the original first, and then you have the remake. Uh, pretty happy with the remake. Uh, pretty happy with how it turned out. And again, that's what's crazy about that exact video, the remake video, is that is an exact mix of GH5, Red, Ari, yeah, GH5, Red, and Alexa. And it's literally all in the timeline, all intermixed. And I think Jeff did a fantastic job grading, but it's also testament, like we've proven a million times over, um, I think the story, in this case, the editorial, putting it together, um, once you put this stuff together right, no one's gonna notice the difference. So that's one way of doing it, right? Is to take some existing footage you have and leverage it into your favor of how can I go back to a client with a pitch and say, hey, we got an idea for a reopen. It worked for us and we made a good bit of money off of it. And when times are slow, it, it worked out really well. What else are you doing anyway, right? If you're just sitting around waiting for the clients to come to you, that's another problem you're gonna have to deal with. But we're actively pursuing that. So that's one method. The other way we did it was a complete remote production. Now I can only show you a small snippet of this because it's not officially been released, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of this. So this was completely done remotely, this video, right? And so we sat on StreamYard uh, with the client and the, the individual. So the client was in Maryland. We're here in Alabama. Uh, Jeff was in North Carolina at our new office and I was in, um, I'm sorry, and the client, the, the, I'm sorry, the subject of the doc was in Portland, Oregon. So you had like four different places all connecting together. 
Um, actually, it was more than that, but in this case, it was four places all connecting together to tell the story. So the subject in Portland filmed the interviews himself. We basically used our cell phones with him to kind of gauge where it was. He shot it on a Canon and we were looking at the back and looking at the histo. You couldn't really judge exposure because the phone automatically judged. So we put all these pieces together and were able to put this project together. And it's pretty amazing to me that this worked as well as it did. And it turned out as good as it did. Um, it's a testament to his ability to shoot, right? The, the, our, our, our subject in Oregon, but it's all, and, or not just him. He has a, he has another partner and she shot really well too, but it's not just them doing the work. It's a testament of everybody working collaborative in this new way to tell a story. And we are able to launch it and we're very happy with it considering all the circumstances even beyond it, aside from one little rub, one little problem I have with it, otherwise it's flawless and it's fantastic and it did exactly what we were supposed to do. So I'm just saying, here's a clip. Hello, my name is Tom Walker. I am the founder and uh, owner of Dream Tree. Uh, I'm also a producer, engineer, uh, videographer. I do a little bit of everything at Dream Tree, but I rely on my people to help me out greatly. My name's Brian Dast and I'm an engineer. One thing I like about working here and working with Tom is that he's, been, he's so open to my ideas and my thoughts about, well, what could we change? What could we do to improve things? Are you, is everything working well? Is everything feeling good? My name is Sarah Wolf. I am the videographer and video editor at Dream Tree. I play in a, um, a like acoustic Americana duo we're a guy-girl duo. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'll just send Tom a text and say, hey, do you have time in the next few weeks? I have a new song. I want to, you know, just scratch it out. And As I was saying, point being is you can do this. So there are ways to innovate during the slowdown period that you don't have to just sit there and wait. You can quite literally make money right now if you will pursue it in the way that works best. And the way that I say to do that is get creative. Whether they're a new client, if it's new business, cool, just come up with ideas. If they're an existing client, that's even better because you probably have a little bit of footage. We've also been doing the same thing for our uh, amusement park clients. We have done tons and tons of work for them just reusing footage. We build a library of stuff. Every time we shoot, we make sure we catalog it. It's one extra step, but now it's paying off. We're actually going to be profitable in 2020. We're still going to be profitable in 2020. I, and just think about that. If you're a business owner, you're a video maker, you're a content creator, I do this for a living. You probably do this for a living. Or if you're trying to make a living, just heed the advice. We're still going to be profitable because we took these measures, these steps to make it work. That's pretty much it. And I am going to maybe do a live stream later this week. We'll see. My schedule's opened up and I kind of just miss you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. Listen, if you have questions, comments, whatever, follow us on all the pages. It's at Craft Show, C-R-F-T-S-H-O. By the way, we're going to talk about that maybe in the live stream when it comes out. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Point being is let's just have a chat about it. Let me know what you think. I love your feedback. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I hope everyone's doing very well. We miss you. We love you. Uh, God bless you. And, and, and we think the world of you. Please be safe.